The name, Dr. Richard Kimball. The destination, Death Row State Prison. The irony, Richard Kimball is innocent. Proved guilty, what Richard Kimball could not prove was that moments before discovering his murdered wife's body, he saw a one-armed man running from the vicinity of his home. Richard Kimball ponders his fate as he looks at the world for the last time and sees only darkness. But in that darkness, fate moves its huge hand. <laughs> A QM production starring David Jansen as The Fugitive. Co-starring Chris Robinson, Lou Antonio, Brenda Vaccaro. Tonight's episode, See Hollywood and Die. Sierra Point, New Mexico. Resident population, 562. Transient population, one. Richard Kimball, who currently bears the name Al Fleming. It is now more than a year since the escape. Maybe 10 minutes. Bonnie said the dinner would be on the table at quarter past, and the others will be over at 7. I don't know. After last week, maybe I should give up poker. <laughs> be right back. I'll close up for you, Ray. You just can't wait to see me in bankruptcy, can you? That's it. <laughs> well, I'd appreciate it if you could close up for me, Al. Okay. Something cold to drink? Over there in the machine. Uh, my buddy likes to see you inside. Oh, yeah, just a minute. No. Put your hands down. Get rid of her. Oh. 
sorry, lady. We're closed up. Oh, no, I just want a road map. We're fresh out. You better get moving. What's the matter with you? Lady, I said split. It's a hold up. Open the door. See me drop that old cat? Yeah, I saw you. Looks like we're in the clear for now. What's with now? Those hit cops will never catch this baby. They may be drive a good plow, but that's it. What is some junk pile, huh? I bet he could do 120 easy. What's your name, baby? Please, could you just let me stop and get out? When you get out, it's gonna be for good. You and the grease jockey here. He means like... Pow. Pow. Yeah, both of you guys are pretty stupid. Shut up! Both of you are real dumb. They're very tough. Don't put me down, mister. I mean it. You know, I was setting that old man up for two weeks. I was all ready to make a hit. And you two young punks come along, foul it all up. Get $500 under the tray. I was counting on that for a stake. What's your story, Charlie? My name is Al Fleming. It's not Charlie. You working on something? I did some time. I have to get to L.A. What for? A job. Not important. Why not? Hey, Benny. You think he needs some persuasion? Oh. See, baby. Please, will you let me go? You don't want to split before the kickstart, do you? I just want to get out. Please. Hey, Benny. You know, I could really see blown into L.A. with his chick behind the wheel. You going to L.A. too? Hollywood. Me and Vinny, we're going to take a, a swim in one of their movie star swimming pools. Right, Vinny? That's right. Yeah. What's well, taking you to L.A.? What's the difference? We won't make it. You got a different ending for that story? You ever hear of a roadblock? Yeah, a roadblock. Uh, if you're interested, 
There's a dirt road up ahead. Go straight through the flagstaff. It'll never be covered if you're interested. Coming up on the right. Take it. Gentlemen, this is KGBM and Gallup interrupting our Saturday social. Approximately 30 minutes ago, two gunmen held up Ray Loomis's gas station in Sierra Point, killed Loomis, and abducted his helper, Al Fleming. Also abducted was a young woman, driver of the late model White Continental, in which the killers made their escape. All listeners are urged to report any information to the blast. We'll have to get rid of the car. What are you selling? You want us to walk? You keep driving this car, you'll advertise yourself right into the jam. Buy a car in Flagstaff. Buy a car? Are you cuckoo daddy? Why should we buy a car? So we don't get caught. Vinny, I don't like this guy. I'll live through it. Maybe. Okay. We gotta buy a car. What do we use for dough? You got 30, 35 dollars. I got close to 100. That should buy something. Hey, the little lady's got some dough. The little lady puts 300 in a pot. Didn't he? How about you, Daddy? You got a bundle waiting in L.A.? About 150,000. A job? Uh -huh. Well, maybe you need a couple of good boys. We don't want him, Vinny. We've been doing okay without some hard nose sounding off all the time. I decide what we want. Look, he comes on pretty strong in the words department. You listen to me. I got a feeling we're gonna mix it up a little pretty soon. It could happen. When we do, I'm gonna have the gun. I don't trust you, Al, Daddy. How about you, Benny? Miles is my buddy. Chew on that, Daddy. I want you to know I'm on your side. Come on. You want to let the cat out in public? He's a grease jockey. He knows cars. You buy it, and I'll be watching. Come on. Keep your eye on her. Yeah. like a pretty smart fellow to me. How'd you get mixed up with a nut like that? Look, Miles is okay. We went our home together in Chicago. The Markham home for boys. He's okay once you get to know him. 
Not bad. Just came in today on a bankruptcy. Doesn't even have 25,000 miles on it yet. How much? Five and a quarter. I'll give you 400. 475, cash. Yeah, sorry, Mac. Okay, okay. Four and a quarter. But only because you look like a nice guy. Yeah. That's only 400. That's because I'm not a nice guy. Now, come back for the rest of these papers in the morning. Certainly. Well, you fill in the rest. I've already signed it. Thank you. I never like to see a buyer drive out of here with anything wrong. Jimmy! <laughs> My boy will have it fixed in just a minute. What's wrong? A taillight's out. Nothing will bring a cop like a busted taillight. And they'll soak you ten bucks for it, too. Jimmy, fix the taillight. It'll just take a minute. ourselves a square chick, that's all. Maybe she just has good taste. Now you shut up. Okay, okay. Come on, we got the other car. Let's move it over. Come on. You got a crank for it? Now, he says it'll get us there. But we got to ditch the other car. Why don't we just leave it here? We can put a note on the windshield and tell the cops we were here. Okay, I get the picture, but where do we stash it then? I got an idea. You two get in the other car, follow me. Now, what's that all about? Well, you struck out, kid, so now it's my turn. Well, who elected you to? Who even said you're in the company? Okay, Vinny. I don't know. She could be in a lot of trouble. I say we dump her right now. We're good. Afraid I'll make you look bad? Come on, follow me. I don't like him calling the shots. He's good. You should have seen him operate with that jerk salesman. 
I still don't like the way he swings. Well, Benny, I don't think he's smart enough for the L.A. deal. Oh, who needs it? Who needs your lousy L.A. deal? We need it. You and me. Gonna let him take off? Put the chaperone. You follow in the other car. I guess I'd better go in. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you said your folks were asleep. Yeah, but if Mom ever woke up and saw the time... Uh... Vacation. Maybe I better call the police. Oh, no, then I'd have to explain to Mother why I was out so late. No cops. Let's go. No. You stay here. Well, I'll take two of whatever you get. Right. And holy onion. Right. Now's your chance, Daddy. I, let's see the big lover operate, huh? Oh, well, go ahead. You just forget I'm here. Yeah? You give me five cheeseburgers to go and four coffees black. Got a long haul or are you just hungry? No, I'm having a party in the back of my truck if it's any of your business. Watch it, Mac. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I've got some friends out in the car. Just making conversation, mister. I couldn't care less if you had Liz Taylor out there. I got it. You only work the swing shift. Maybe I don't like an audience, kid. Oh, yeah. yeah of course, huh? You want me to split. Well, Daddy, never say I didn't help a buddy out. Maybe when I get back, you'll have the nerve to hold her hand. 
How about that? Somebody could have stolen the car. Remember what I said earlier? We get away from those two. How? They're animals. They're going to kill us. How do we get to the police? We stall for time. Maybe they'll buy my story. Just follow my lead, huh? Something funny. What? I was supposed to be married yesterday. Bridesmaid. Cow. Rice. <laughs> the whole thing. And I ran. I kept thinking. Soon, I'm not ready yet. I want a little excitement. I haven't done anything. I haven't. I haven't seen anything. I'm just not ready to settle down. I couldn't face it. I couldn't. Larry, with his button-down collars and his household budget, saving ten percent of his salary every week. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I think for a little bit of excitement. Oh, I want to go. I want to go away. Do you think we'll ever really get out of this? We'll get out of it. Tear yourself away, you owe me three ninety. Oh, sure. There you go. Four dollars. You sure a ten cent tip won't break you? Oh, I'll give you another tip. Your prices are too high. Hey, May. Hmm? Is that cherry or boysenberry? That pie. Raisin. Hope you wear glasses when you're driving. <laughs> we better eat on the way. We hit the front page.
front page. Why don't we make it harder for them? How? They're looking for four of us. We, we could lose one. Uh, who do you got in mind? Her. We got no use for her. You've got no use for her. Look, you wanted a hostage, you got a hostage. So hang on to her. She's the only insurance you've got. OK. For now. Uh, that's mine. I know. Hey, baby, the nights are too cold out here for this. Please. You wear something like that around the pool, and, and I'll cancel my order, and they're movie queens. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please stop that? Uh, that's enough. Enough for what, Daddy? Just drop it up. Okay, anything you say. <laughs> now, what did you do that for? It was too crowded. We'll be back with more music right after I bring you five minutes of the latest news. Shut up. From Geneva comes word that the latest disarmament talks have reached a stalemate. While here at home, the Air Force has announced the successful launching of a new air-to-air -air missile. Flagstaff police report that the getaway car used by the Sierra Point bandits has been found. It had been hidden in the garage of Mr. and Mrs. Donald Ferguson, who were on vacation. Registered in the name of Joanne Spencer, the car was reported by 18-year-old Carl Emery, who saw the bandits secreting it in the Ferguson garage. Police are now examining the car for fingerprints and hope shortly to have detailed descriptions of the two gunmen. From Havana comes word that... Looks like our leader swallowed something bad. Or maybe heard it. <laughs> what have you got to laugh about? Tie your prince right into that killing. Not us. We're model citizens. Didn't you know that? The cops don't have our prince, Daddy. We've been stopped, questioned. We've even been brought in, but we've never been charged. We've never been booked. No prince, no record, no nothing. They got yours, though, don't they, Daddy? Do they have your prints? They've got them. Close, Al. Yeah, real close. So what about it? What about what? <laughs> what about what? A big job in L.A. Vinny, it's always been you and me. You find the jobs, I find the kicks. Two's company, three's a bomb. All we want is that pool and a couple of dames. What he's too stupid to understand is that if I cut you in, you can buy your own pool. If I cut you in. Now, you said you needed a couple of boys. Now, boys I can trust, not him. What am I, some kind of freak or something? Next question. Are you knock it off? Well, if he's got a point, if we're in, we got enough dough for all the kicks in the world. In what? We don't even know what this big job is. Well, you didn't think I was going to let you know where 150,000 is sitting, did you? I'll tell you this much. It's all in cash. It's in a safe. Big construction company. And I've got a partner. You got a partner? Yeah, a buddy of mine. Got the combination of the safe, the front door key, and the watchman's schedule. What's he need you for? He wants to be somewhere else when it happens. Sounds good, Miles. 
Why should he cut into other guys? Need a guy for the lookout and a guy to take care of the watchman. How much is that worth? Five thousand apiece. Ten grand. That buys a lot of kicks. It's paper over there. Get it, kid. Do you know you're sitting next to a big celebrity? I'm Richard Kimball. Well, what it said in the paper, I didn't do. I don't believe you. I'm scared. Scared of them, scared of you. Now let me go! Now, come on! Glad you could make it. I didn't know how I was going to get her back to the car. Why don't we forget the whole thing? I mean, we could just leave her here, you, you know, like, pow. You want every car on the freeway down here? Well, you're getting awful choosy, Daddy. Last time you knocked off a dame, it was in your own house. Oh. Not here. Oh. Well, it's got to be soon. She might make it next time. That's not going to be next time. Come on. Place up in the hills. We want an audience, it's still light. Well, it won't be light for long. You read the papers. All right, we're gonna stick around here, make the hit, and get out tonight. Okay, so we knock off the chick first. I haven't got time. Now, look, I gotta go all the way across town. I gotta contact my partner. I gotta pick up the key. I don't know, maybe you two ought to play it alone. Uh, now, take it easy, Al. We're not fighting you. Maybe he's right. Three's a bomb. Look, why can't your partner meet us somewhere around here? Yeah, just phone him. Gotta have time to set up an alibi. Get him over here. And while he's on his way, we'll take care of the girl. Okay. Phone booth over there.
thought you might need a dime or something. Afraid you'll miss something? Well, don't you dig togetherness, Daddy? Now, like, speak to Tim Cates, please. And tell him it's important. Hello, Tim. This is Richard Kimball. That's right. I guess I am pretty big news. That's why we've got to make the hit tonight. I'm too hot to stick around. I'm going to use those two boys that heisted the gas station. Look, I want you to meet me somewhere. I can't take the chance of going all the way to meet you. Now, hold on. Meet me at uh, Steele's Motor Lodge on Ventura and Castello. How soon can you make it? Well, we'll give you enough time to set up your story. I'll be registered under the name of Al Fleming. I'll see you soon. You sure you can trust this case? Well, the question is, can he trust me? For that matter, can you? All set. Yeah, he's gonna meet me here in half an hour. Good. Now we can take care of the chick. Yeah, you, uh, you two go ahead. I want to be here when my buddy arrives. We'll wait for you. What do you mean, Daddy? Well, we can't take a chance and make it a break again. You two get rid of her and uh, meet me back here. Let's talk. All right, what's a big mystery? There's no mystery. It's just that I don't like the idea of you staying here. I don't think Miles likes it either. It says it, Daddy. I have to meet my partner. We know. Miles and me figure you haven't been leveling with us. Now, we ended up pretty good, and we just want to make sure we're around when you split that pot. Are you afraid I'll cut you out? That's why you and Miles are going to take the little lady for a ride while I wait here for your buddy. He doesn't even know you. So I'll make a new friend. Besides, Al, baby, you know a lot more about killing Danes than we do. All right. They register here in the motel under the name Al Fleming. My partner's name is Tim Cates. All right, let's do it. You drive. Bad baby could have been a ball. Where are we going? I don't know. There's nobody around. Make a right up there. I pull over by that house.
was there. Tim Kay. Why, this isn't Kimball. No, Mr. Cates. But he'll do for openers. Let's go. Hold. There it is. Oh, this is as good a place as any. Give me the gun. Sure, Dad. No, you already got your... And so did you. Remember the old man? That was a man. I've never killed a woman before. Till now. Keep for a while. Well, you better go. Take the car. You'll be all right. I'll get help at one of those houses up there. The people. I'll be fine. Please, before they find you. What it said in the newspaper. I didn't do it. It's important to me that you believe that. Do you believe me? Go on. Go on. Which way did he go? Even a few minutes could make a difference. Which way did he go? That way. Are you sure? I'm sure. Jackson. Kimball was the bad one. Yes, I know. A city with 10 million lights casts a hundred million shadows, each one only a passing refuge for a man on the run. A man like the fugitive. Mm -hmm.